Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, today we'll be looking into the question number one of exercise number eight. So let us start this. So in order to start this question, so first we have to just uh, have a look of the question. Okay. So there are two circles, center to center distance is 150, one circle is about 20 mm. So this is the primary startup for the thing to go with. So click on AutoCAD, after that set the units. Assure that the units are in <coughs> millimeters. Then use dim style in order to change the dimension style. So just modify it. <coughs> so you do not to do this thing every time for your each and every question. So just uh, make sure the arrow size is 3 mm and the text size is also 3 mm so that you can actually do this properly. Then followed by the primary units, you can just set to zero decimal, then click OK, then set current, automatically it will be set. Close it. Okay. Now first thing is you have to start with the very first thing that is a line that is having 150 mm as the length. Ensure that the workspace is in 3D modeling before you start the question. So first to draw a line and then make sure the ortho mode is on. So 150 mm. Okay. Then the first thing is R15 is the radius of the circle. So first you draw rate center and radius method. With this ensure that the center is here and make a 15 mm thing. Then click on line command and then start a 20 mm line. After this you just make the same radius which is R15. Radius is not mentioned because these are equal circles. In certain questions, uh, this part will not be mentioned properly. So you have to assume that this circle radius and this ra radius is the same. So the very first thing is 15. After this, the second part is how to start drawing these curves, which is R50, R150 and R50 here. So you don't have any method to draw a straightaway curve, but uh, with respect to this problem, I will tell you a simpler way. So the very first thing is use tan tan radius method. So click on this tan tan radius method from the circle drop down box. Click on the very first circle. And the second circle as this second uh, tangent as this, which is called a deferred tangent. And then the radius is again 50 here. So just draw a circle like this. So with this reference, you have made a circle. Then repeat the same thing for the other circle, which is also of the same radius from because this tangent is here with this. So you can draw a circle of radius 50 here. So you have got two circles. Second circle is actually touching uh, the ground. Okay, touching the ground. So you have to start making the second circle in the same method. So tan tan radius method. First two tangent is with this. Second tangent, you can choose any one of the circles, but I prefer this circle. And the radius is actually 150. Okay, but the problem is it will go downwards. Be careful with this. So click on tan tan method. Then select this first circle and the same thing as the thing. Then 150 as the radius. Okay, this is the correct thing. Okay, because it is actually touching both the circles, and then you can see the curve is actually touching the, the central part. So choose this circle and uh, this line as the tangent in order to start the second circle. Okay, so after this, you select all by control A, then click the command trim. You can trim all the unwanted regions. Primarily, this part is not at all required. Then followed by the very first curve. Okay, so this curve, this curve is not required. Then this curve is not required. This curve is also not required. Okay. So after this, the interior curves you can uh, slowly take it off. Okay. So select the way I am selecting the curves. Okay. So excess things you can delete it off. You can see one more excess curve here. You can delete it off. Select and delete. And you can zoom in and find out if there are any unwanted curves that are there. So be careful with this. So use Control A again, and then then use Trim command. Okay, this is the unwanted curve. I think so. Yeah, this is the unwanted curve. 
and find out whether the other curves are properly been like selected okay zoom in and just check out whether the curves are missing okay so this is some unwanted region then after this you have to just trim off these two things okay these two unwanted regions but before that i'll just uh, try to give you an input again control a then use trim command repeat this process unless you get it get the complete structure okay i think almost the curve has been formed okay so after this draw a line vertically which is 15 mm away from this and the total curve distance is uh, again 48 so for this you draw one particular line which is 15 mm or you can use offset command for this okay so this the second curve has to touch this okay second curve has to touch this line so you can do it this way again tan tan radius method then select the very first curve as the first tangent and uh, second line as this as the secondary tangent or you can select this vertical line as a secondary tangent then the radius should be 30 okay now you got a curve of 30 okay with the tangent part okay then control a use trim command to delete unwanted regions extend this line in order to make the curve properly use trim command then delete this one and the interior component okay so delete this constructor lines by using a simpler thing using delete uh, mode you can just click on the delete from your keyboard okay i think there is some gap here you can just find out that curve because while deleting there might be some issues so you just draw a flexible line if you get something like this But try to avoid uh, <clears throat> while deleting itself. You try to avoid uh, the deletion properly. Okay. So after this, use the command join. Then select all entities. Give an enter. It should be a single entity. Okay. If there is any issue, that means you you are joining or somewhere the thing is has some issue. Use command join. Select the very first part. Second, third. Four and five, six. So when you just click on this, it should not be a different entity. So be careful with this. So once you are done with this, at the end of this corner, or maybe you can select this corner. So you have got a complete path. It should look like a single entity. So at one region, you can just select center and radius method, and start drawing a circle of not more than like two mm. So after this, use the command sweep. so sweep is basically used for uh making the object uh, follow a particular shaped path okay so this is the object which you are supposed to sweep and the path would be this thing so once you create this it would look something like this you can visualize very clearly in the shades of gray so this is the shape of the object okay then from here you can just uh, look try to look at it to uh, in any typical view then create A layout of it, which is like this. Base model from space. Select the object. Even enter. Layout is question number one. So this is your front view, top view. So based on the orientation, you will get this particular shape and size. Okay. So you can give all the notations. Then. Uh, you can you can uh, uh, make sure that the the thing is visible okay thank you
Thanks for watching.